Hey there guys, Adam Time Lord Fishwick here um, and I am back again today. That is this is like the fourth video no F yeah fourth video now for today. Uh, I'm trying to make many try and get through many reviews of this series I can. Um so I'm starting off with um Doctor Who series nine. Now this is an in, uh, this is an interesting one. Uh, I'll be reviewing obviously *The Magician's Apprentice*, and I've I've decided because I, I was thinking when I was going through when when I was gonna get through series nine, I was just thinking because every episode in well not every episode, uh, most of series nine is a two parter, and I've just been thinking should I do one episode in one, I should do it in two parts, but I, I feel like I should do it in two parts, but there's going to be, there might be a few episodes which I might just have it all in one, but I, I, I think this one should be in two parts. Now, this is, I'll be reviewing The Magician's Apprentice. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, so, it starts off with... Um, um, with some guys... Running, uh, tr running away from these planes, getting they were getting shot at, and uh, they were having bow and arrows, um, and shooting at the plane, and then they see this one of them sees this boy, and he's just asking them, what what are you doing out here, um, and then, uh, and then you and then the doctor finds this boy, and then he. I have to say, these hands uh, from the ground, they were quite creepy. Um, I, yeah, I thought, I thought they were quite creepy. Um, and then when, you know, I like how the doctor was just, you know, you, know, you can get out of this. Um, you know, I, I'm going, I'm the doctor now, I'm coming to save you. And then the doctor asks his name and then he says he's Davros, the creator of the Daleks. And wow, the doctor's reaction to that is just wow. And um, I, I'm going to have a bit of a talk about the Sonic. Um, yeah, this, this this series, like, the doctor doesn't have his Sonic screwdriver anymore. And... Um, I feel like Jordy Whittaker's thirteenth Doctor should not have the have a sonic screwdriver in the next series because she just overuses it way too much. Um, but anyway, uh, it's it. I yeah, I I loved it, the opener for um, for this episode, uh, and then we meet um, uh, a villain, which I think is a, a, quite of a good villain. He's very creepy. He's called Connor V. Sarf and uh, I like how he was going around to each planet, uh, you know, wondering where the Doctor is and he's just asking around and he's just interrogating everyone, especially in that first planet he went to. Um, I, I felt like it was a planet where we, we could just see old villains there and... It, I kind of got like a Star Wars vibe to that, um, yeah, um, but, and then the, then Convy South goes to, um, the Shadow Proclamation, Prof the Shadow Proclamation, yes, that, um, and that, um, uh, and that woman from, um, uh, from there, from Series 4, um, I liked in the return of her uh, from Stolen Earth and um, and uh, I, I feel like with with each planet Convy Saf was going to did when he was just asking around, no one seemed to be scared about you know Davros. Well, he was di saying that he was dying, but also that. You know, he, he wants to face the Doctor one last time. Um, and I, I'm just wondering, you know, this is... You, you know, you know, Davros is this... Um, creator is just... You, that 
that who has created the most deadliest, terrifying machines ever. And I'm surprised that no one is actually scared of, you know, Davros wanting to face the Doctor one last time and wanting to to know what he actually wants. I mean, I, I mean, I would be scared if Davros was returning because um, we know how dangerous Davros is and what he's capable of. Um, yeah, I, but, you know, apart from that, it's I, I, I do like Conor V. Saf. I think he's great and he's definitely... That, that's one thing I've mentioned before. Stephen Moffat is great at making good villains. Um... <laughs> Um, and then um, it goes on to um, Clara, and and she's working in her um, working in this doing it doing a teaching job, and I, I thought this bit was quite pointless when all the planes stopped. Um, I. I and then you just find out that it was Missy all along. Um, I just thought, why? Um, and I have to say, Missy did my head in a bit in Magician's Apprentice. Especially when she was being all flirtatious and that. And that's just the one thing I just don't see that the master would do. Yeah, it's just, mm, uh, and then we, and and then, um, and then she tells, she, uh, shows Clara the, the, uh, confession dial, the hybrid, um, that we will get on to, uh, later on in, in, in series nine, um, um, and then, you know, it's a, it was, supposed to be a so it is a, a confession dial uh it should open when the doctor is dying and um supposed to be known by his closest friend and i i find it quite funny that Cl that clara thought that um that it was supposed to be for her and then mrs is just like well what are you doing you know it's for me um, and I just I, I find it annoying that Clara just thinks she's just so close to the Doctor, but she really isn't. And I really hate when she bosses the Doctor around. I just don't like. I, I just feel like Clara is just she she's just dragging along now because I, I really think she overstays her welcome. She really does. Um, and then I, I thought it was quite. Them trying to find the doctor was just a, a little bit too easy. I was just, and then, and I wonder find that when the doctor is in Essex and he's, this is where the doctor, the twelfth doctor, just changes for me. Like in series eight, we just got this, um, you know, this rebel dark doctor, which I love, but. And then you just see him coming out, playing a guitar, and then he's just there, riding a tank. No, why have you brought that? And then he just starts telling all these cheesy jokes to, to the crowd he's in. I'm just like, why? I mean, I can probably understand why the tone did the Doctor down a bit because of um. You know, maybe that kid weren't really getting along with the 12th Doctor in Series 8. So they wanted to tone him down. Maybe they just wanted to get more merchandise, you know, like getting pop figures with the 12th Doctor playing the guitar. Um, and that. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... I, I just... I, I do like the opening. And I, I, I just think after that... It, I just don't think Stephen Moffat just knew what to write until after when... I think when Conor V. Saf just... When he turned up, I liked how the Doctor just... He, I mean, he kind of just sort of changed it back to, you know, you know you're know you not going to hurt, harm any of my friends. Um, um, I, 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 I do like the how 
you know, as soon as he hears about Davros, you know, he wants to see da that uh, Davros wants to see the Doctor. I just like how he just changed it to how he was, but I will get on onto the Doctor more further on into the few into this series. Uh, but that's one nitpick. I just didn't really like how the Doctor's just changed um, into this rocker Doctor. Um, I I mean I don't mind a bit of the cheesy jokes, but yeah, it, it's just it's yeah, it's it's just something that I I just kind of struggle with. Um, um, and then we see, I, I feel like Missy and Clara should not have come to, um, come to Scarrow with the Doctor. I, I just feel like they should have just stayed wherever they went. Doctor should have just like, like, listen, you're going back to, you're going back home being safe. Um, no, they came. Um, and I liked how... Um, it was just describing, when the Doctor was just describing, like, um, Davroth made the Daleks and all that. And I, I also forgot to say at the beginning, it, it references Genesis of the Daleks when the fourth Doctor was just saying, um, um, when, when he says, um, uh, um, you know, um, you, you, you could, and you know, if someone pointed a child to you and told you that child will grow totally evil and to be a, a ruthless dictator to destroy millions of lives, could you then kill that child? And I liked it how at the beginning, um, it referenced Genesis, which I really did like. Um, I and I also, you know, when we found out which planet, um, the doctor was on, oh, hang on, one minute. I'll leave that in a minute. The time my PS4 has just turned off. Um, um, and then, um, you know, we find out that it, they're on the planet Scaro. Um, it's, the, it's the war between the Khalids and the Fowls, um, which um, which was a good call back um, to Genesis. Um, and then we see. Um, that the Doctor is facing Davros, and Davros approves of his new face, which I find okay. <laughs> Bit random for Davros to say that. Um, and I, I, I liked how when he was finding out that um, um, when I liked how the Daleks killed Missy. And then the doctor's just like, oh, please come on, you know, save Clara. Um, and I've, that's another thing, like, even though when she kills, it, when the Daleks kill Clara, I think, again, that should have been another good uh, dark ending for Clara to leave. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get that, but I will get onto that in the next review. Um... Um, and uh, I liked the, you know, the end when the Doctor just goes back and he's just, I love the cliffhanger when the Doctor is just about to kill um, young Davros and we just leave it from there. But yeah, that's just, that's my opinion on, that. that's what I think about Magician's Apprentice. I give it a seven. Because I liked aspects of this episode, but those aspects I didn't like, uh, so I, I give it I, I give it a seven because you know Davros is a great villain, and I, 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 I was really glad when it first broke after he returned. So yeah, tell me in the comments on what you thought of um, Magician's Apprentice, um, which is familiar with you will be up very soon. I'm going to be watching which is familiar after this, so I shall see you in the next video, bye for now.